Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will help you to determine what orbital diagrams are and then we will also discuss orbital diagram for potassium. We know that every atom when looked at microscopic level has certain number of protons and certain number of electrons. Now orbital diagrams are just a way of representing the arrangement of electrons around nucleus in a particular atom. And in order to figure out how and where these electrons go, we follow three main rules. Let us see what they state. The first rule is Aufbau's principle that arranges orbitals in terms of their energy levels. So down here, we have 1s sublevel that has one orbital, then comes 2s sublevel and so on. So the electrons will go in 1s orbital first and then move on to the orbitals having higher energy. Now the second rule is Hund's rule that explains the arrangement of electrons in an orbital of sublevel. Well, electrons tends to tend to be as far as possible from each other so as to minimize the repulsion. So if there is a case where there are empty orbitals available in any sublevel, then instead of pairing, they will choose to be arranged separately. Now that makes sense why this arrangement is more stable than this one. The third and last, last rule is Pauli's exclusion principle that states the arrangement of two electrons in any orbital. It states that there can be maximum of two electrons in an orbital and that two should have opposite spin. No two electrons with same spin can occupy a single orbital as shown here. That is incorrect. Now that we have discussed the basics that we should know for orbital diagrams, let us move ahead and draw one for potassium. Now potassium is a S block element and has an atomic number of 19. That means that it has 19 protons and 19 electrons. Now that we know the number of electrons, let us write its electronic configuration. It will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. If you add up the numbers here, you will get the value of 19. So now let us arrange the electrons in orbitals. Now S can hold maximum of 2 electrons, so we will place 2 electrons with opposite spin. Same we will do with 2s, then 2p. 3s, 3p6. We are left with one more electron that will go into 4s orbital. So this is the orbital diagram for potassium. For more such videos, make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.